Please stand and remove your hats and honor America. At Soldier Field, Thursday night, the national anthem. See by the dawn's early light. Performed by a veteran who continues to serve. Veterans Day at Soldier Field with the Chicago Bears. There's almost nothing that can beat it. Mark Lindquist served in the U.S. Air Force for years and returned home to Minnesota and eyed a career in politics before Russia's invasion of Ukraine nearly two years ago shifted his focus. You know, we call Ukraine the front lines of freedom. His nonprofit, the A-Team, one of a few U.S. organizations run by U.S. veterans on the ground right now in Ukraine trying to help. U.S. military veterans volunteering in non-military aid. The mission continues over in Ukraine. Uh, my buddy Harrison Josefowitz from the 82nd Airborne Veteran and I have been working over there for the past 20 months, um, you know, doing every week, everything we can. I can't tell you how important it is to be an American that shows up in the Donbass, um, you know, telling them, the, the soldiers, that America is with you. That means probably more than any box of supplies or vehicle of, of donations that we could bring to know that America and Americans are behind them uh, helps these guys keep going. And the rockets regular, the bombs bursting in his trip to Chicago was a short one. We talked with him on his way back to O'Hare to head back to Poland and then Ukraine. His message for others on this Veterans Day. I would love, you know, more veterans to support our cause of freedom over there uh, and join us at markjlinquist.com because the mission isn't over uh, because it, 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 it remains possible that Ukraine could lose. And without Western and American support to continue this fight against Russia, um, it isn't a guarantee that Ukraine prevails. And certainly America, as the leader of the free world, I think has a responsibility to support our allies in efforts uh, when they need us most. Sean Lewis, WGN News.